Whew. Afternoon, folks. It's been a long day for me, and you guys are just joining in on my day. Uh, it's probably about 2.30 in the afternoon, and I've been up since so dark 30. We had a big old black oak come down. You guys probably seen the shorts on it here recently. Um, it was hollow in the middle, and I had, I had gotten a couple quotes that were reasonable to cut it down, and I just, uh, we, we were able to get a friend that has an excavator, and a mid-sized excavator, about an 80 horsepower, that's all it really needed. Um, just had to dig around just a tiny bit, but the whole root system pretty much had been rotted. So, uh, yeah, the other guys might have been able to cut it down, uh, but I didn't feel safe for them or for us, so it was safer just to go ahead and uh, get a machine in here and dig around a little bit and shove it over. So I spent the whole entire day cutting the tree up i've got a bunch of logs i'll show you here in a second and the tree was kind of like a semi-yard tree at one time it was in the woods but then for the last 30 years or so it's been out out you know on the edge of a field so it's kind of like a yard yard tree so a lot of branches it had four or five crotch sections not a real straight section the uh, butt log ended up being 18 feet and on the large end was 36 inches and on the small end was about 30 inches so that's about what you'd end up with a can't. Now the tree is larger, but I base it based on what I felt you could get for a can't out of it. And it's a black oak, so we haven't decided what we're gonna do with it yet. I can't lift it. I had to roll it around with the tractor and I put it up on some on some boards to keep it up off the ground. So hopefully over time it'll lighten up and maybe we'll sell it as somebody will want it as this hole and they'll mill it. I, I just don't know right now. But we have a bunch of upper pieces that are gonna be nice. And I'll show you those real quick, but here's what we're going to do today. I kind of started taking a few pieces off of this cherry here. Hopefully the shadows aren't too bad because the sun's kind of like right beside us, behind you, beside me. Um, I've got this side the way I want it. I'm going to flip it again, around again and get me a nice wide board. So I'm going to have some one inch board drop there. And then after that, I'm going to trim the two sides. And we're just going to keep it straightforward lumber and i don't know i'm going to get as wide as i can i can't say it'd be six i can't say it'd be six and a half can't say it's gonna be seven can't say it's gonna be seven and a half it's gonna be what it is and uh we're not trying to meet the box stores we're not trying to come up with sizes to match theirs we're just cutting lumber and we get what we get so i got this lumber here i'm going to time lapse you the rest of this right here and then i have another one over there it's not part of this tree it's an older tree I took down. You probably saw the shorts. It had three burls in it. Um, so that's just one section of that that's left. Um, I did cut the others up without you. I'm sorry. But anyways, so I'll slow down and we'll cut that one. And that's going to be pretty dry. The other ones I cut were actually pretty dry. It died on a stump. So I got it just in time before it didn't get any wind checks in it. So I'm going to put you over on the tractor on the side. Put this on time lapse. We're going to take care of this log here. I'll get the other log on the mill and then we'll slow down and it won't take too long to cut that log and then uh, I'll show you the logs we got for the black walnut I mean black walnut, see I got walnut in my brain the black oak and there will probably be four or five videos come out on that because I got quite a few tops some nice crotch sections so it's going to make some really nice lumber I'll take my time cutting that uh, probably have some new blades going on and uh We'll just go from there. So anyways, time lapse time. So just hang tight. back what we ended up with 
I'm happy with is we basically got two one inch thick boards, one with double live edge and one with live edge on part of it inside. And one, two, three, four, five. Really nice eight and a half by inch and a half board. So really nice for this log. That's a lot of really nice lumber, not a lot of waste. So very happy. So I'm gonna get this off and set it somewhere. I'm gonna get the other cherry, the older cherry on here, which I know the center might not be that great. I can kind of see part of it. But we'll go ahead and do a slow-mo cut up of that one. There's not gonna be a lot to it. I'm probably just gonna do live edge, straight through, live edge. So let's get this off of here and uh, set it somewhere and get the other log on here. switched out y'all got to wobble a little bit so let's get uh, not a very big log but uh nonetheless it's cherry and i can get some nice piece of wood out of it uh, basically what i'm going to do is i'll cut maybe a couple cuts on the top flip it 180 and just live edge both sides just straight through i'm suspecting the center might be a little soft so we'll just cut around it they'll make firewood we burn a lot of firewood so i don't turn down any firewood uh, all these slabs like cherry the beech nut the oak and all that will be uh slab wood won't go to waste It's a little, it's a little teeny saw, but we'll just have to see. This is actually the butt log. You guys probably saw a sneak peek of the black oak logs. We get done with this. I might throw that one on here. We'll take one slice out of it.
sometimes I forget to go back and look at these. Gotta pay attention. tell it's drier uh, should be able to just rip this down the rest of the way should stop on the stops there hopefully let's do one inch pieces all the way through this up. I'll bring a couple of these pieces over here and then we'll bring you over here. I'll show you what we got here. A little bit of decay right in here. Um, you know it's only a little bit of the log and as a matter of fact once I get through this piece right here I probably will be past it. So I will leave uh, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to leave in the comment section or in the description of the video I'll leave the uh, the moisture content of what this log used to be or is um, it is dry so this would probably be some available wood sooner than later so uh, I say I'll leave it in the comments or the uh, information se section of it. I don't have a uh, don't have the uh, moisture meter over here through the shop. If I put it over here it'll get crushed or I'll end up losing it in somewhere. It'll get shoveled off in the dust. And I don't want to do that. I've got a couple of them. I've got a really nice one. It's about $1,500 and you can put the species in but I've got the that one where the battery hooks off, it got damaged, and I got to figure out how to get it rehooked. Is that a, an expensive uh, unit there? So I'll bring you over here, kind of show you what we got going on. You can cut the next couple pieces with me. Uh, we'll see what we got. I don't trip over everything. My feet are lazy. I'm lazy. It's been a long day. That is a big oak tree I cut up. So. But I wanted to get you guys some content, and I have a bunch of logs sitting over here, so uh, I like to keep up on them. It's gotten out of hand in the past, so uh, just trying to keep up with everything. They 
gonna say spring is in the air I guess oh Poxitani feel says we got an early spring I said okay we'll see hold you guys up there I gotta choke it with let's see one two three four five six seven and then a little teeny piece so eight so i call these my chicanery board uh boards just double live edge they're probably anywhere for around 10 inches eight and a half ten inches uh perfect for all the people doing the chicanery boards or serving trays or just live edge type stuff so and these will be fairly dry. I mean, I can tell just by putting my hand on them, they're pretty dry. So they might even be done early spring. It's just hard to say. I'll get them somewhere stickered up out of the weather. And we'll just find out when it comes time, I guess. But I'm not going to have time to put the log on there, so you're just going to have to stay tuned. I'm just wore out. So we're going to uh, do an oak log maybe tomorrow, which will be a couple days for you guys. And uh, I'll clean up my mess here. I got a lot of kindling type stuff I can cut up to put away for use for future fires. Which I'll get to another day. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Uh, tuckered, me tuckered out. Tuckered out, going home and going to relax. Y'all be blessed.